Mic check, mic check, yo! This is Moe's Hyde. And I want you to stop what you're doing because right now we're going to talk Reef Week 2015 and what I did. My Reef story. Check, I had to have a game plan. Couldn't be regular. Had to figure out something extraordinary. So, the first thing I did was to land on Kikaka. That helps. And then, it struck me. Why not take the Ragamuffin Challenge? You heard me right. I said the Ragamuffin Challenge. I have been hearing about this Ragamuffin Sailing Tour. This a majestic voyage from Kikaka to Placencia. Ragamuffin Tour is a very unique sailing company. We have designed a type of island hopping adventure that is very unique for this area in the Caribbean because there's not much local operators like ourselves operating on this kind of level. Actually adventuring, showing people the coastline of Belize, taking them along the coral reefs by sailboat, you know, which is a very unique way to get around in Belize because we have so much waters. Yo, about time now, one good Belizean brother like me get one slice of that fun there. Find out what exactly happens on a ragamuffin sailing tour that seems to excite the planet. Got to get on. Not going alone, no. We're going to get some of our friends from around the world to join us. Of course, tourists were welcome. But we're also joined by Dr. Isani Chan. He's a Belizean marine scientist, man. He's from the Oceana Belize staff, and he brought along a couple of his team members. We had Miss Jennifer Chapman, and she's a marine scientist from Blue Ventures, stationed in the fishing village of Sartinea. I mean, we would all board the Raga Empress on our way to a three-day, two-night reef expedition that would see us sail down south, yes along the reef, the beautiful reef, all the way to Placencia. We'd overnight camp at Rendezvous Key and Tobacco Key along the way. But we would be stopping intermittently. I mean, we had stopped there, we had stopped over here. We'd be stopping more times than the 6 a.m. James bus stops on its way from PG to Belize. Trust me, game on. Captain Jerry, take it over. The name of the boat, this one is the Raga Empress. We will travel for about three and a half hours where we will get up to Sergeant Ski, everyone. We will circle the reef around this area, view the sun, and then we will move alongside Gulf Ski and get up into English Ski area leading into Rendezvous. We plan on getting to Rendezvous Key at about 4.30. This will leave us enough daylight time to camp. Rising the sails, up along the hatches. We're gonna be splashing and going if you get hungry, thirsty, come to the saloon. We will do that there by the door. Ragamuffin fruits. Fresh, fresh fruits. Right off for the boat. All part of the service of three day tour, right? Yo, it didn't take long after we were on our way for our beautiful reef to remind us that it's not just about postcards. Nah, nah, nah. It's got food. <laughs> Lines were stiffening behind the boat and yo, supper, supper, look out, here comes barracudas, I love it. We want people to remember that even though Belize has a whole 185 miles of coral reef, the reef is still one of the most sensitive ecosystems in the world. So golden rules around here everybody, no touching, no standing, no collecting of dead or live corals, okay? We do like the fishes do, they go around and through, never on top or into any corals. As soon as you touch the reef, you remove its only source of defense, which is a slimy substance known as a mucous membrane. You remove that, you create a blister, fishes come, they eat that blister, and it makes the reef vulnerable to disease and infection. What took millions and millions of years to develop, you guys could wipe out with one touch. The Vaga Empress didn't leave the dock empty though. I mean, it had fresh fruits, and later on, I mean, who could 
we'll quarrel with rice and beans and the chicken and salad and so on, I mean. Hello, Arthur, brother. Look out. We brought along marine scientist Jennifer Chapman. She isn't on the ragamuffin empress as a dude. Uh-uh, uh-uh. She came along to do some heavy lifting. One, she had to catch a lionfish. I had never done that before. Then she has to show us how to clean it. Hmm, interesting. Then, who would tell us all about the dangers that the lionfish presents to our marine wildlife? No, we gotta hear that. The, the spines that you have on a lionfish, you have all of these venomous spines on its dorsal, which are really, really obvious, and people are really well aware of them. But the ones that people don't know about, this one's still a little bit alive, so I'll just be careful with it. The ones that people don't realize are there, are the ones which are on the pelvic fin, you see these ones are soft, they're not venomous, but you see there's one short one here, yeah. right here, that's venomous, and then it has one on each side, so it has one there as well, and then also on the anal fin, this is the anal fin, these ones again, the soft ones, they're not venomous, but it has three, three, one, two, three, venomous spines there as well so that's that's to be honest the cause of most of the stings because the fishes they grab it from underneath to avoid the venomous spines and then they get stung from the ones underneath in the belly Tonight we have barracuda, two styles, freshly, freshly cut off the back of the boat. One barracuda, serre style barracuda uh -huh. with the coconut milk, and then the other barracuda we do, um, how do you call it, fish tea style uh -huh. with the barracuda and the tomato paste sauce. And no cilantro. No cilantro, because steaks, as, as you could see right in the steak farm, everything, just that we're not releasing it from the skin, that way everything stays intact. Right, so people could come grab the portion and it's on. And the lionfish that was the, killed the lion. by our dear friend from Blue Ventures. Black uh, pepper and salt, uh, tomato, onions, bell pepper, no cilantro. Oh, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. Parsley potato on the go, fresh potato. No special technique, simple black pepper, salt, garlic powder. You know, regular, everybody knows grace. And salt, even though we're up on the sea, right? A pinch of salt, still good. Check back in 15 minutes. <laughs> this one is the barracuda in the coconut milk sauce, okay? And okay. so what we know as serre, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna try it. Or is yeah. like well, it could be my version because then I'm not a garrison. Well, you should because we have a whole idea. Which one did you catch, Mo? This one. So, Mo's has got his plate full of all other delicious fresh fish caught today. We caught this lionfish today as well. And this is really, I feel like I'm going into my final exams at university. This is the moment of freedom. It's my first time. It's an ugly fish. <laughs> it's a notorious murderer. It has been charged with fish genocide. It threatens everything good out there. It's like Putin. Yes, Putin. Yeah. Eat Putin. So let's do this lionfish thing. It was caught by Jen, but she had nothing to do with the preparations. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you want a fish? Have an H fish. Do it. Uh. 
You win. Yes! You win. I love winning. And the, 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 the <laughs> so, so this is lionfish. This is the lionfish we caught earlier today and I just I think it's testament that like everyone's trying to chase it. It's really, really good. And when you eat lionfish, you know that you're helping the reef. So I really urge chefs, eat it. consumers, eat it. restaurateurs, anyone out there. Try lionfish, it's really really good. Sell it in your restaurant, you'll do well. It's it's a tasty fish and it's really good for the reef. So help Belize and eat lionfish. Uh, Down there. I can't remember who's yeah, here. He's really asking where he's Yeah, we're Jerry. Jerry, I'm not saying for half everyone on the ragnarok. Thank you. Okay. Woo!